13, 14, 800 yard freestyle relay. Heat two of two. In lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Chandler. Lane two, Santa Clara. Lane three, Nova of Virginia, B squad. Lane five, Palo Alto. Lane six, Nova of Virginia, A squad. Lane, that was in five. Lane six, Irvine Nova. Lane seven, Arden Hills. And in lane number eight, Nova of Virginia, C squad. So this is not the first time we've seen Nova of Virginia have an A, B, and C squad all in the top eight. Goes to show a lot of depth there for the Nova Virginia. They have brought out a lot of swimmers here. They're able to put together three 800 freestyle relays. So and we don't a, see that very often. It's a club that's known for their middle distance and distance freestylers as well as their 400 IMers and butterflyers. So you're right. No surprise to see them with three of the top teams here coming into this final of the 800 free relay. And halfway through leg number one, it's Nova, Virginia A and B squad out front. It's their A squad with a 52-8, their B squad with a 53-7. So we'll see if Nova, Virginia can get multiple teams up there on the top three finish. This is our last heat here for the 800 freestyle relays, and then we can hop into some sprinting for that 200 freestyle relay, which I think will be a relief for these swimmers. But out front is Nova of Virginia, followed by Palo Alto. Palo nope. Alto doing a great job of staying with with Nova Virginia up there in lane number five. It is gonna be Nova Virginia with the fastest opening split, 149-15 to Passa's 149-80 on the leadoff. Those two teams separating themselves from the rest of the field here at the 225 mark is Nova Virginia trying to reassert their leadership and their leadership position early on in this second leg. Great race going on for third. Nova, Virginia trying to fight off the rest of the field for that third place spot there in lane number three. Down there at the bottom of your screen, that's Santa Clara in two. And Chandler in lane number one. And up there at the very top, also hanging in there in lane number seven, is Arden Hills. Nova, Virginia beginning to pull away from Palo Alto in lane number four. About a body length separates these two boys here with, I believe, 50 yards left to go of leg number two. I think they might have 100 yards left here on leg number two. You might be correct. As we get in here for a closer look at this Nova Virginia freestyler, I just want to take the chance to put on that coaching hat maybe just one more time. That head position, not necessarily ideal. He's got to get that head maybe a little bit lower and extended forward. As it is right now, he's kind of got the head up, and that's getting in his way, maybe creating a little bit more drag on the front end. But I'll tell you, it's working as he extends the lead for Nova Virginia. But just because it's working doesn't mean that it can't be improved upon. So that's all. I mean, again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not in any way being critical of any of these swimmers, just offering observations as we're watching them power through this meet. And now Nova Virginia powering through the second half of this 800 freestyle relay with the lead still that they've built throughout the first half. 340.1 for Nova Virginia out from Palo Alto, 343.1. And back to your breathing comment, it's pretty standard I think across the board for coaches to help their youngsters figure out where their head position to be is to focus on only getting one of your goggles out of the water, keeping one eye in, one eye out. So when you can definitely see a full goggle set from your swimmer, you know they might be rotating their head a little bit too far. So that's usually a standard for the youngsters is to focus on keeping one eye in and one eye out. Yeah, and sometimes that's even just the feel that they get as opposed to actually only getting one goggle out. A lot of times you see both goggles coming out even at the elite level, but you're right, it should feel like one goggle is coming out. I know that Bob Bowman has done some uh, technique videos and, and expressed that that's the way that it should at least feel when you're taking that breath. And it's definitely difficult, especially for these youngsters to hang on to technique when you get so excited for finals. You might want to, you know, you just really want to tear it up and go as fast as you can. You might forget about proper technique, but 
Palo Alto trying to. If you want to go as fast as you can, you got to remember that technique. Exactly. So that's something that they'll definitely learn as they continue to get some more swimming experience under their belt. Palo Alto trying to hang on to the feet of Nova Virginia up there in the top. I think he's made up some yardage, but Nova Virginia definitely still keeping control here. It's going to come down to the anchor leg. A very impressive third leg here for Palo Alto. He definitely did some damage, and he's given his anchor leg a chance to catch the Nova Virginia swimmer out front. He is now about almost to the hips of Nova Virginia. Yeah, he was not done until that final 25. The Pasa third leg really did a good job of finishing off of that 200 freestyle, but it's still Nova Virginia with a slight advantage as they enter the anchor leg. He did. There was a couple seconds in between those boys starting leg number three. 533-0 to a 533-7 separated the boys at the finish. Nova Virginia looking strong here for their first 50 of the leadoff. He's extended the lead just slightly now to a body length, but the race is not over. 150 yards left to go. Palo Alto is still in the game. Great first 50 from Nova, Virginia, but now as they settle into a little bit more of a consistent pace, it looks like Palo Alto back in that underdog situation now trying to reel in Nova, Virginia. And the Palo Alto team doing a great job of attacking those walls, getting in, in inside the flags, really getting into that wall very quickly. 100 yards left to go and Palo, 100 yards, right? Or is it 50? Palo Alto just made his move on that last 25. He is now right behind Nova, Virginia in four. There's just over 50 yards left to go, and these boys are going to be neck and neck heading into the final 50 yards. Actually, it's going to be Palo Alto now taking over the leadership position. They've got the momentum in lane number four. It's really tough to come back after you've been past this late in the race. Palo Alto with the momentum, and now they extend this lead coming through the last 50 going into the final turn. I believe the championship here is going to go to Palo Alto with an impressive third and fourth leg there for their relay. With over a body length lead, the touch will be Palo Alto with a 720.35 followed by Nova Virginia 721.97. And coming in for third, Nova Virginia is going to get two squads up there on the medal stand. Their B squad is going to hold off lane number two, Santa Clara for the third place touch with a 738.64. Well, that rounds out the 800 freestyle relays, and I think we're